Here is the easiest way to make windows in Revit. Let's get started. To add a window, you can choose one from the window panel, modify it or create a new family. You can also load another Autodesk family by going to the Insert tab. However, I prefer using a curtain wall, especially if I don't need a specific window, as it is faster and easier to adjust. Go to the Architectural tab, select Wall, and under the Curtain Wall option, choose Storefront. Go to Edit Type, duplicate it, and rename it. Press OK and draw a 3000 mm line in top view. Change the base offset to 900 and the height to 1500. Go to Edit Type and under Vertical Grid, choose the Fix Number option and then OK. In this way, you can add the number of vertical profiles you need, in this case 2. To change the shape of the profiles, you need to change the profile mullions. Right click inside the project browser, search type mullion and press next. Right click on a rectangular mullion of 50 by 150, duplicate it and rename it 100 by 50. Double click, modify the width and the thickness dimensions to 50. You can also change the material by clicking here. If you don't find a material you like, duplicate the material, I forgot to do it, then click this icon and when you find a good material, click these two arrows to import it into the library. To apply the new mullion, select the window, edit type, and change all the standard mullions to the new one. To insert the window in the wall, go to level 1, click the Align tool, select the dotted line in the center of the wall, and then the one of the window. To check the other side of the wall, go to 3D view, select wall and window while holding down the shift key and isolate them by clicking on isolate element or using the shortcut HI. The glass is too thick and in the wrong position. Select it, go to edit type, change the offset to 0 and the thickness to 10. To reset the hidden elements, you can use the shortcut HR. To adjust the position of the window, go to south view, enable the dimension tool, place a dimension between the wall and the window. Then select the window, click on the number and change it. Finally, delete the dimension. Now you can copy the window in the right places and adjust the dimensions of each one. You can find the complete tutorial of the building in the description. See you next time!